When Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison visited the Doherty Institute in Melbourne last week, it was as much to acknowledge its laboratory, the first outside China to isolate the COVID-19 virus, as it was to speak to Sharon Lewin's team that are leading important work on a vaccine. Sharon Lewin, you are the head of the Doherty Institute, which is leading some of the very important global work towards a vaccine for COVID-19. My first question is, do we actually need a vaccine? I'm pretty sure we need a vaccine. At the moment, what the world is doing is using public health measures of quarantine and isolation and rapid detection. These are all very important. Also using travel bans and other interventions that are less well proven but perhaps are buying us some time. But to really um, have an impact on an infectious disease, um, you need a vaccine which will give people protection, even partial protection would make a big difference. And so, uh, you know, containment in China, a country like China can do it. Not many countries can do that at that scale. So I think we will be seeing living with COVID-19 after a while, unfortunately. The Doty Institute and the laboratory there was the very first in the world to isolate the virus. How did that happen and where were you? Well, January 24th, the first potential diagnosis of COVID-19 of a patient that was in uh, Melbourne. And uh, the sample came to the Doherty Institute because we are an institute that focuses on research, education and public health all related to infectious diseases and immunology. Having the virus is really important to check your diagnostic tests, to develop antivirals, you need the virus itself and to um, develop a vaccine. And you need an animal model and therefore need the virus. We need to talk about this vaccine that the Doty lab is also leading important work and understanding on. When developing a vaccine, um, the idea is to give a piece of the virus in some form to someone who's not infected. Um, That vaccine tricks the immune system to make an antibody or an immune response. Um, It doesn't make them sick and therefore they're armed if they ever get exposed to the real virus. And there's a lot of discussion and focus on the benefit of a vaccine because a vaccine protects uninfected people from becoming infected. But we still need treatments for people that are infected. At the moment, I just have one reservation about antivirals, um, and that is that this coronavirus um, appears to make people sick over a long period of time. They often have a mild illness in the first week and then can get much sicker in the second and third week. So um, we may need to have therapeutics that not only tackle how much the virus is dividing, but also calm down the immune system so it doesn't create lung damage. And I think both areas will need further work. The China Current continues its special coverage on the coronavirus outbreak. Go to our social media, at The China Current, and our website for interviews, videos, and podcasts. I'm James Chow. Thank you.